what happened? Who won this challenge? Well, that was Monday that the threat came. Either you come into the office or you lose your Medicaid. Tuesday went by and I didn't hear from anybody. And Wednesday came along and Amy was all set up for a video in case the doctor's office called in case they decided to go our way. And Glennie stayed dressed up all day in case. And here's Glennie and Amy doing the contacts, the 10 contacts for day, who call up 10 people a day. And all of a sudden on the screen, the brand new phone appears Dr. Katz. Is that right, Amy? Is that right, dear? Yeah. Hold on just a minute. Hello? Uh. And he's saying, hello? And so Amy says, Glendor, Glendor, and Glendor says, where is the camera? Where do I look to see him? You look into the computer. And <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, and everything is very congenial, folks very friendly and I asked Dr. Katz uh, if I could have home care could he make a house call and he said no because he works for St. Peter's and he can't make house calls but he said I could look around until I found one and Jeanette says there's a company named Landmark did you ever hear of Landmark? The the people are very professional. They come into your house and do all the things that people seem to think you need, but you don't. And uh, it all ended amicably. And he says, I'll see you in six months. So it's over. It's over in six months. And we didn't let them push us around, did we? We stood up for right, didn't we? The joke is, the secretary says, the boss is mean. And the clerk says, yes, but he's fair. He's mean to everybody. And the man was asked, can't you get along without those crutches? You've been on those crutches for months now. Can't you get along without them? And the man says, well, my doctor says I can, but my lawyer says I can't. Uh, an old maid put an ad in the newspaper looking for her husband. She received 100 answers, and they all said the same thing. You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, high school football coach said to his star player, You're out of condition. What have you been doing? Studying or something? I would like to bring you into another caveat, another warning. And that would be Cumberland Farms and the American Telegraph and Telephone Company. I bought a phone card from them for $40, and we brought it home, and Amy worked diligently to set up the phone card with AT&T, and AT&T was on the line, and they asked for a SIM card. 
and this paper that Cumberland Farms has sold us for forty dollars had no SIM card number on it. Is that correct, Amy? Yeah. So we went back to Cumberland Farms and we asked for our forty dollars back. No, you're not going to get your forty dollars back. Do you believe that? Cumberland Farms, AT and T. We're not going to get our forty dollars back. And when you go to Straight Talk, you remember they used to give you a nice stiff plastic card, but this is a flimsy piece of paper that AT and T Cumberland Farms gave us. Why, my goodness. Amy, would you pause, please, while we find the happy happenings? Uh, with God we go to spread the joy of life. We win each day the happiness of love. We count our blessings. We give thanks. We give joy. Stop. Stop the cruel. Oh, stop. Stop. Stop the cruel. You love the eclipse Monday, didn't you? You think of all of that precision. Hundreds of years they can tell that the earth is so precise and the sun and the moon. Think of the mathematics that's involved in that. Woo! Amy, what was happening on April 5th? Happy happenings. Well, I have April 6th and 7th. Okay. Um, Amy did not go to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Keep going. Debbie Rudman is the special Vermont shows. Grady Hearn is correcting the misunderstandings. Glendora is listening to the Buddha audio tapes. Telling people what to do with their lives. <laughs> she wants to do it. Will you go with her? <laughs> the huge amount of Buddha sayings can be summarized in one sentence. When all is said and done, the only thing that matters is how you treat others. <laughs> Two inches of snow have come and gone. The daffodils radiated their spring joy. April is coming home to Happy House 3 on April 25th, Thursday. Hooray! A thrilling birthday present for Glendora at 96. Glendora needs two more Jeanettes to bring the work up to date. Two more Jeanettes, honey? Yeah. 2.07 p.m., Amy scrutinized the drawers in the buffet. No mice droppings. Glenn told Suzanne to send her an invoice for texting. $200 order from Amazon from Pat Nichols. Should we block veg vegan essentials? Saturday, Glendora did 10 walks to improve ambulation. Give April cheers. She fed a stray cat in Peru. Vegan, I hope. <laughs> Voicemail. Review email April 1st week. <coughs> Veg news very good today. 10 contacts. Zia spaghetti with meatballs and sauce is $13. Long talk Cronin. No walking. Joke to governor of New York. Eight glasses of water. Uh, so far, a perfect score. Holy grail, except for dumb thinking. Eat spaghetti, vegan meatball, and marinara cooked by Jeanette. Think folder, charm carrot, charm candy, bleh. Erica S. will write us down as one of her clients. Think folder four.
Welcome, oh happiness. Helping the world we go, caring and sharing. Happy, all oh, glorious, or all oh, victorious. Gone is the selfishness, ego is out. Do you need more time, Amy? Uh, no. 29th time, Glendora gets up to go to the bathroom, and the second floor water flushing starts. <laughs> Glenn washes, and Amy wipes them clean. The dishes. Hmm. Amy feeds the animals six apples, six cups of corn, and six cookies. Glenn has done five walks today, exercising leg. Wash the compost pail. In mail done. Motorola chucks and crotch pads. Hmm. Lori doesn't know how to get receipt out of computer. Amy wanted the box. What date was that? April 7th. Hmm. Museum is done. Trust is done. Six expensive meat dishes in the freezer. That reminds me, we have some vegan ice cream to eat in the freezer. It comes from stores, and it's delicious. Motorola phone set up. Get straight talk. Amy sweep the floor. Floor needs to be washed. Wow. What do you think of this, Kevin Marr? That's it for April 7th. <laughs> Next one is April 8th. April 8th was a Monday. That was the day we had the one. conflict with the doctor's office and threatened to lose Medicaid. Okay, happy happenings for April 8th says, doctor's office and insurance company demand Glendor come into the office for a medical instead of doing it by video. Glendora is strong and healthy and sees no need for her to leave her home where she is safe and comfy and face the dangers of tripping and hospital germs. In the sanctity of the sanctuary. She is threatened by both with loss of Medicaid benefits. Glendora told Medicaid all of this, and Medicaid said, tell the office that you are legally blind and that your walking is inhibited. Medicaid, they should then do the video. Glendora has a new Motorola smartphone, $170. She has three smartphones. Glendora buys incontinent supplies because insurance company doesn't resupply her. The eclipse will be here in one hour. We had an earthquake 250 miles away. Then there was an aftershock. All things work for those, for good for those who love the Lord and know his purpose. Insurance company is sending young lady to Glendora's home to evaluate. I gave her a candy bar. Charms. Hard candy. Her name was Gracie. Medicaid said that Glendora's arrangement with them is good until December 31st, anyhow. The Sencha person is late and has not showed as of 2 p.m. Eclipse has started 2.30 p.m. Scrutinize email for week of April 1st, definitely darker eclipse. How to order, how to order vegan pizza at Pizza Hut. Glendora has done seven walks around. This is the 32nd time that Glendora gets up and... Starts how we rejoice at the precision of the three variables, the earth, moon, and the sun. Hmm. What do you think of this one, the real Z? So predictions can be made years ahead. It's getting lighter, much lighter at 4.10 p.m. Feed the animals, recycle dumpster, eclipse over at 4.15. Hmm.
Wayne kept shade down during the eclipse so he couldn't see it. Nothing much we can do without receipts. Glendora needs somebody to go to Walmart to get a straight talk phone. Recycle and dumpster. Four weeks of laundry quarters. Malik called but no answer. Oh, creatures of our God and King. Lift up your hearts and let us sing. Next, Amy. Amy confident about sending April happy happenings every night. Madeline says April is beautiful. Best Vegan 2024 Awards. Glennon Amy Vegan Hot Dogs. Joke to Leslie Johnson. Contacts done. Cold hot dog good. These are April 9th. We're at 25 minutes, Glendora. Huh? Oh, good for you, Amy. What day you on now? April 9th. Okay. Foundation Physical and Spiritual Morning. Yes, morning Medita and night. Meditation 1 to 4. Eight glasses of water. Hearty breakfast. Electronics bench 26 to 30. Housekeeping. Trust balance March $700. We are getting there. Malik bought 10 museum boxes. Malik bought purple heart stamps and rabbit stamps. 34th time water upstairs. Toilet chair slipped. Wait for Amy. Amy and Robin fixed everything. New jokes. Camcorder, no playback. Amy remedy that heard what the doctor's office said. <laughs> Search for a doctor that comes to homes. Voicemail contacts. Walter Belfort tripped over table leg and broke his femur. He is in Albany Med and doing well. Pat had Amazon delivered to her house. Glendora ablutions. Good deeds. Next one is April what? We're on April 9th right now. Glenn went to the bathroom. How many times? Doesn't say. And every time I go, the flush upstairs starts. And Glennie took ten walks on the sore leg, and the sore leg isn't sore anymore. Ten walks, ten steps each, up and down the hall. What else is, you're going to make it, honey, on the... We're at 28 minutes now. And did you finish ninth? Yes. You did? Yes. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Anything you want to say before we sign off? Thank you to you. <laughs> you want to say anything to the people? Yes, I want people to know that Grandpa's scar on his head is healing fine. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, bye everybody. Grace and peace. <laughs>